a lot, Chris. Well, I tell you what, this is the horse's head. It's not a scene from The Godfather, but it's a great thing here because we're getting ready for the thrill of the Queen's Cup steeplechase. It's uh, coming up, uh, well, it's coming up a week from this Saturday, it is. isn't it, on yep. April 23rd. And joining us today to talk about it is Bill Price, our good friend. He's been here many times before. He is the race chairman. And Catherine Lambert, who is president of the Alzheimer's Association, the Western Carolina chapter, who is going to be benefiting from the race. So, Bill, first of all, for folks who may be new to the area here, how would you characterize how would you describe the race can I introduce Sir Grinalot yeah please All do. Right. <laughs> this is Sir Grinalot that we can carry around uh, and he shows up at the oddest places <laughs> and this is Sir Grinalot senior his dad mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, we, we just picked him up and he'll show up on race day but basically uh, it's it's a great big lawn party where the horses are invited and I've been saying that for years and there's really no other way to really explain it other than you're out in this huge hundred acre field with manicured turf and you have racehorses that show up but mostly it's a tailgating experience it really is and it's it's just full of wonderful character and colorful outfits that people <laughs> wear i mean it's really about it's a it's a huge social event it's a tremendous social event it's really the kentucky derby right here in little old charlotte north carolina it really is, is. A, it's an amazing thing but but the twist is we're raising money for a partner charity, the Alzheimer's Association. Yes, and Catherine, tell us about the organization and what you all do exactly. We serve the 49 counties in central and western North Carolina. Right here in North Carolina, we have 160,000 individuals living with Alzheimer's disease. Wow. Um, there are over 5 million in the United States, and so we provide a 24-hour helpline, support groups, care consultations, education programs, and at the same time are running a parallel track with funding research. Hmm. How important is something like this for your organization? It's huge on multiple levels. I mean, obviously, financial contributions are, are how we keep the lights on and keep mm -hmm, serving families. Mm -hmm. But as, as Bill said, it's a, it's a huge event in this community. And so for us to be able to partner with, with an organization that's had such a rich history for 21 years in our community, that's a gift in and of itself as well. So not only does it raise money, but it also helps raise awareness, exactly. too, because sometimes I think that's as important as the money itself. But, uh, Bill, what do you think? What 21 years is a long time for an event, and certainly one as unique as this. What is it about it, do you think, has people coming back over and over? Well, uh, two things. Uh, first of all, when I started this, I had nearly a full head of hair like you. <laughs> so this has been the hardest job I've ever had, uh -huh. and it's the biggest volunteer job I've ever had. But I think what really brings people out every year is it's, it's a one-day event. It's only going to happen one day, the last Saturday of every April, and if you miss it, you got to wait a whole year to come. You, versus going to, uh, say, a golf tournament or the Panther mm -hmm. Games, you mm -hmm. have an opportunity. If you miss it one day, you can go on a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Here, if you miss it, that's it. And I think what what why people come out is it's just a lot of fun. There's it just is, yes. there's no way to really explain it, other than it's an experience. It's fun. The smell of, of of uh, fresh cut grass, uh, food is galore. It's it's unbelievable. People show incredible. up with, I don't think anybody shows up like <laughs> <Vanilla> <laughs> Senior, but, but people do show up with all kinds of fun hats. Uh, we have a great hat contest. We have the Jack Russell Terrier races, which are always a lot of fun. It's just incredible. We've run out of time. I wish we had more, Bill, but I want to make sure people get this information up here. We'll also have more on our website, WBTV.com. It's a week from this Saturday. Bill, Catherine, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. And stay with us. We'll be right back. Thank you, John.